It's Mr. Humanoid again. And then there's one of the shackle ones. One of you two players. Yeah, that was a bad hook. I don't know why he would try to play aggressive with a fucking Seraphine. Seraphine, not the strongest level 1 champion. Barrier didn't block any damage. She didn't wait for spells to be used. So Renekton did well. Apparently my Seri died in a 1v1 though, which I don't understand how, but like Humanoid did not play very well earlier today either. Like we played our first game of the day, we played with Humanoid, and there he kind of had a very bad performance as well, where he died a million times in Seri mid. Hopefully it's not a repeat of that though. Hopefully this was just a one-off bad death, right? And now he's just gonna start smurfing. He's obviously a good player. Let's just... It's not performing very well today. What's your favorite thing about Bard is? No. Why are you answering Night Bard? What is my favorite thing about Bard? His versatility, mate. That's my favorite thing about Bard. Don't take Night Bard too seriously, dude. He's just having some fun. I don't know if he, the Red Exxon is broken plate or who it is, but he's doing well. The Red Exxon is doing well no matter what, who he is. He's continuously picking up my health friends though, even though she's full HP, which is a bit annoying. Very good trades in there. This is not enough to kill, but it got her flash. And if we now can just crash the way fast enough, we might deny a time. No, never mind. TSTP, I forgot. Summon advantage, and we got a plating. Not too bad. Oh, that's not good. Dude, Renekton is smurfing up there. That's crazy. I know we see Viego. I'm kind of surprised that she got, just gets caught there and she doesn't know how to flash the hook. Like, no reaction speed at all. That's a fucking Viego here. I should probably have just flashed earlier, huh? Didn't even realize that any Via got so much damage on me. That's crazy. My bad. How is he getting 1v1 by an Ivia? I don't understand that. Italy not even there to help. That's crazy. <laughs> hmm, Kaiser somehow dies bot lane. 1v4. Isn't this just instantly giving out away the shutdown? Do we win? I don't have any mana. Nice. 
So nice that I managed to stay alive. When singing stream? Hopefully never for your for your own sake, mate. Hopefully never. Is Walmart no longer the play? Walmart is still really good. I just like doing something different. I should not fucking try to save her. It's so annoying. These people, can't they just play normally? Our team comp is so bad, by the way. The further we fall behind, the worse. Like, Nidalee is also useless. Because he has not gotten the gold leads he needs to get. Siri will scale. Kaiser will scale. I will scale, right? Renekton is obviously super fucking strong. But, like, when it just comes to a 5v5, it's so hard. Because they have so much control with Seraphine and Anivia. They have so much control. I don't fully understand why there's objective bounties on their side like why is there objective bounties are we really that far ahead right now for sure doesn't feel like it but when we do click tab we can see that we have cs lead everywhere right like cs lead cs lead and we got towers we got the void grubs we got the dragons so all of these we have leads we have to get all the dragons by the way wincon is legitimately getting sold i would say insane amount of damage <laughs> wow i needed to flash i guess i did not expect that to do so much damage but no tier 2 boots means i do not run out of that thingy very quickly at the same time i don't want to waste my flash because i want to have it up for dragon so now anivia has no flash very easy to ult on her engage on her right so my death here feels horrible because dying is not good but at the same time i die but my death might actually give us our Big opportunity to win the next fight because you can put the Nivea E, <laughs> not unless it's uh, up next to a wall, which it wasn't. Let's say the Nivea wall is here, then I can portal through it because it connects to a different wall. But if it's just there on its own, you can portal through it. They get another objective bounty. I'm kind of annoyed by the fact that they're getting objective bounties over and over. I don't think we're that far ahead. Like, look at top. Fjord is basically one between them. The game makes it says we are super far ahead but i don't think we're super far ahead well he just gets the tier 2 gets the kill siri they kill the siri and then they have a 4v5 siri is worth a shutdown oh hourglass <sighs> but they got another objective bounty from the herald they're getting another objective bounty here it is so stupid they just keep getting objective bounties the team is straight up winning and they are just continuously being rewarded with objective bounties they have gotten four objective bounties in this game while we are dead even god i hate the fucking system sometimes i hate the system chat There's no way Seraphine is this far up, by the way. No one dies. We did get a Navia Splash again, though. Why is Kaiser staying in there? Uh, we lost the game. I don't know why they stayed in there, but it's kind of my fault as well. Still objective bounties. That's so stupid. 
just continuously getting objective bound. What is wrong with the system? How long do we have to lose for? These dragons do not give us any power until we have the soul. Why do we continuously have to play against objective bounties? It makes zero fucking sense, chat. What a horrible shit system that is so anti-fun. Oh, what the fuck is that damage? Shit system, shit system, shit system, though. It's so anti-fun. Why do we even have to get punished from winning the game? Like, it makes zero sense. It's such a shit system, chat. It's such a shit system. Like, you're legitimately getting punished for playing better. And because they have a late game team come, they just sit and chill and think that's fine. The bounty system. The bounty system is a shit system. The objective bounty system. I'm actually okay with like a champion being fed so they, there's a shutdown on them, that's fine. But the objective bounty system is horrid. It's so horrid. It's so anti-fun. Because you're just getting punished for, for being good. We had such a free fucking soul, but Kaiser had to stay on the turret for the lock. <laughs> That's not the system's fault though. And I portaled in afterwards and died. If I hadn't portaled in, if I hadn't portaled in, we'd probably have a light detent. Like at this point, the game is now over because we don't get the soul and we have gotten outscaled. They're gonna get a tier two here, tier two here. They get the dragon here. But where are our objective bounties now? Nowhere to be found, right? I hate the system. I hate how much gold it has given them for no reason. It's so not fun. You should never feel like you get punished for winning. You really should never be punished for doing well. It, it makes zero sense. Wow, you actually stayed. My bad. My bad, though. There's no Baron, and they should not be able to actually push further with this. I don't think so. There's so many anti-fun mechanics in League of Legends. I kinda hate it. Fjord has the same amount of items as Renekton, just because he keeps ending into the turrets. Oh, Baron is alive. That's my bad. We are all bot side. It's just gone, right? We should have killed Fjord while we could. Maybe we still can. the game is 50 15 gold ones then they still get objective but it's because they're sitting and counting the dragons and the void drops as gold as well but the void drops doesn't give any stats so they don't do anything unless you hit the turret and then there's something like the dragons that have been nerfed a million times like at this point the dragons don't do anything unless you actually get the soul right like these stats are not worth anything whatsoever but they are the reason you're constantly like playing into a gold deficit while they get to get a fuck ton of gold. Oh, we lost the game here. Oh! Siri did so much damage there. 
Can we take us down? We get the fucking soul. Oh, how? This game, that fight looked doomed. Okay, well played, team. I think Siri got some very insane crits there because Viego just died instantly. Holy shit. Now we get the soul. Maybe it's winnable. I hit a really good stun on Fiora uh, as he could towards us. Which I think meant that he kind of just ended up getting one shot. Okay, we have soul now. Soul is so fucking huge. It does so much. Like, this soul is nasty. It makes it so much easier to kite and chase. I don't understand. Like, that fight did not look good at all, right? Still alive! <gasps> I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive! <laughs> That's crazy! One HP and a dream. Nivea damage is crazy, dude. Be an idea if you have so many times for long range huge slows? No. I need survivability. Like, I'm not tanking off as you can kind of see in these fights quite obviously, right? Now we have to face again to them. That's gonna be fun. He stole it somehow. I don't know how, but he somehow stole it. We're winning the fight though. Just need to chase the Fjord. Nice, we won. I can't believe it. We actually won through the Elder Rig and the Elder Rig... I don't understand what happened there. I'm glad I recalled though, else it just becomes... They will end, right? What a weird game. Not a very good quality game, right? I hate objective bounties, made the entire game very frustrating as well. I'm gonna go pee while the client is barking again. Like it always does lately.